Hello, welcome to Arjun Singh Academy. We are discussing math principle of mathematical induction, and this is lecture number three. I hope you have already watched part one and part two before watching this part three. In last lecture, uh, we have solved some questions and uh, some homework has been given to you. Uh, hopefully, you did it. Uh, but let me uh, discuss all those questions which is left out. So, uh, starting from question number ten. 1 upon 2 into 5 plus into 8 plus 8 into 11 and in similar way the next factor is 1 upon 3n minus 1 and 3n plus 2 and that is equal to we have to prove n upon 6n plus 4 this is what the uh, result we are looking for so if i can put it uh, put n is equal to 1 and similar fashion we can go ahead and that will be 3 into 1 minus 1 and 3 into 1 plus 2 is equal to 1 upon 6 into 1 plus 4 so that will be 3 minus 1 2 1 upon 2 into 3 plus 2 5 that is 1 upon 10 and this will be 1 upon 6 4 10 so which is true which is true clearly so p1 is true p1 is that this is equal to pm consider pm so again we will write the similar way uh, let it be true for let it be true for n is equal to m where m is some natural number some natural number natural number right so it is true for 2 into 5 plus 1 upon 5 into 8 plus 1 upon 8 into 11 plus 1 upon 3m minus 1 into 3m plus 2 is equal to m upon 6m plus 4 right this is equal to 1 now if uh, we have to show that this is pm plus 1 this is considered to be like pm equivalent to pm now pm plus 1 pm plus 1 is equivalent to 1 upon 2 into 5 plus 1 upon 5 into 8 plus 1 upon 8 into 11 and like this that is 1 upon 3m minus 1 and this is 3m plus 2 and the next step will be 3m plus 2 into because this is difference of these two is 3 so 3m plus 2 the last one is first one so this last one will be first one and next factor will be 3 more than this so 3m plus 5 so now that will come up like 1 upon 2 into 5 plus uh, we can use this result using one isn't it so if i'm using one you will write here m upon 6m plus 4 plus 1 upon 3m plus 2 and 3m plus 5 isn't it you can write using one one using one so what will come if I take two common from this, um, this will be two common then 3m plus 2 and this will be also 3m plus 2 into 3m plus 5. So if I took common uh, 1 upon 3m plus 2 then what is left here? m by 2 and what is left there? 3m plus 5. So it can be 1 upon 3m plus 2 and what will be this I find taking LCM this will be 3m square plus 5m plus 2 whole divided by 2 times of 3m plus 5 so this one is nothing else but uh, 3m square 3 to just 6 so 1 upon 3m plus 2 that can be written as 3m square plus 3m plus 2m plus 2 
whole divided by uh, 2 times of 3n plus 5. So, what will come? If I take factor of all these, then this will be 3m if I will take common, then here it would be n plus 1 and 2 common then n plus 1. So, 3m plus 2 into n plus 1 will be the factor and there is 3m plus 2 into 2 times of 3m plus 5. So, these two are cancels and now this will be m plus 1 upon if I multiply with 2 this will be 6m plus 10. So, 6 and 10 can be written as 6 and plus 6 plus 4. So, in fact, that will come like uh, m plus 1 upon 6 into m plus 1 plus 4. And clearly, wherever there is an m, now there is m plus 1. So, you can say clearly this is true for clearly. It is true for n is equal to m plus 1, hence it is by principle of mathematical induction, it is true for, true for all n belonging to them. This is the proof. So, I hope you got it. Now, let us see the question number 11. Question number 11, what is that? number 11 is there. 1 upon 1 into 2 into 3 plus 1 upon 2 into 3 into 4 plus 1 upon 3 into 4 into 5 until uh, it will be n into n plus 1 and next term will be n plus 2 and that will be uh, 1 by n plus 3 divided by n plus 2 n plus n plus 1 and n plus 2, n plus 1, n plus 2, that was the limit. So, in the similar way, we can put, put x is equal to n is equal to 1, n is equal to 1. So, if I put n is equal to 1, then this will be 1 into 1 plus 1, 2 into 3, that will be 1 into 4 upon 4 and 1 plus 1, 2 into 3. So, 4, 4 cancel, 1 by 6 and 1 by 6, which is 2, which is 2. So, P1 is 2, P1 is 2, that is, this is 2 or n is equal to 1. Again, you write the same thing, let it is true, it, let it be true, let it be true for n is equal to m, where m is belong to n, some natural number. So, what will happen in that case? 1, 2, 3 plus 2, 3, 4 plus 3, 4, 5 plus like 1 upon m into m plus 1, m plus 2, then the result will be like m into m plus 3 divided by 4 m plus 1 and m plus 2. So, this can be considered as equation 1. And this is what? Uh, this is equivalent to p. So, now p m plus 1 is equal to for n is equal to m plus 1 this expression can be written as 1, 2, 3, 2, 3, 4 like this and like uh, 1 upon m into m plus 1, m plus 2 plus the next step will be m plus 1, m plus 2 and m plus 3 also m plus 3 isn't it. So, I can write it here let me write in green m plus 3 will be also there m plus 3 that will be m plus 3. So, if I am writing all this in place of all this expression from here to here, if I am using first I can write this expression, isn't it? I can write it like m into m plus 3 upon 4 into m plus 4. So, using 1 
I can write here m into m plus 3 divided by 4 into m plus 1, m plus 2 and this expression is left out. Which, what is that? That is m plus 1, m plus 2, m plus 3 and using 1. Equation 1. Now, let us proceed. What is common in between? m plus 1, m plus 2 is common in denominator. So, if I take m plus 1 and m plus 2 common from these two uh, expression then what is left here um, it will be left m into m plus 3 whole divided by 4 and what is left from here m m plus 1 has been taken so m plus 3 is left now if i'll solve it m plus 1 into m plus 2 that will be m times of m plus 3, m plus 3 whole square. So, m plus 3 whole square is nothing else but m square plus 6m plus 9 and this 4 multiply here and whole divided by 4 times of m plus 3. I hope you got it. Okay. Now, uh, the whole expression can be written as in numerator m q plus 6m square plus 9m plus 4 whole divided by 4 times of m plus 1, m plus 2 and m plus 3. So, I can take here m plus 1 common so that it must be cancelled in denominator, isn't it? And so, we can write it m q plus m plus 5m square plus 5m and now 5m plus 4m, 9m plus 4, 4 divided by 4 into m plus 1 into m plus 2 into m plus 3. So, I can take common m plus 1, m plus 1 and uh, if I took m plus 1 common from these two, then what is left? m square. And if m plus 1 is taken, then what is left? 5m. And what is left here? If I have 2 m plus 1, so 4 is left. Divided by 4 times of m plus 1, m plus 2 and m plus 3. Isn't it? So, that will come up like, uh, again I can write it m plus 1 and that will be m square plus 2m plus 1 plus 3m plus 3 plus 1 plus 1. So, 3 plus 1 plus 4 that is 5. So, we can do it like 4 into m plus 1 into m plus 2 into m plus 3. Is it required? So, let us see what, what we have to do. Actually, uh, we need to put m plus 3. So, m into m plus 3. And in numerator, where it was m into m plus 3. So, m plus 1 plus 3. m plus 4 over there. Okay, let us cancel this too. And what is left now? That is uh, m plus 1 whole square plus 3 m plus 1 plus 1 divided by 4 into 4 into m plus 2 and m plus 3. So, if I would take m plus 1 common from these two, then what will happen? Here m plus 1 plus 3 and plus 1. So, that is divided by 4 times of m plus 2 m plus 3. So, now the thing is we have to say m plus 1 and m plus 1 plus 3 that is m plus 4 should be there. So, m plus 4 1 is left out 1 is left. Let me check it. Ok, this one is extra because 3 plus 1 is 4. So, this one is extra. This one is extra. So, we can write uh, wherever there is a name, uh, now it is m plus 1. You have seen that 
m in place of there is n so n plus 1 n plus 1 plus 3 so this is what coming here and hence it is true for all n plus 1 and hence it is true for all n which is true for n plus 1 so let me write one more line which is true which is true for n is equal to n plus 1 hence by PMI by PMI it is true for n long term. Now the next question is question number 12. Now again there is a question a plus sum of n terms of g p a r square a r q and up to a r to the power n minus 1 that is a r to the power n minus 1 upon r minus 1 this we have to prove. So similar like uh, we can solution will be like this put n is equal to 1 then this will be n is here only r to the power 0 that is 1 and a r to the power r minus 1 upon r minus 1. So these two are cancels out and here a is equal to a which is true. Clearly r is not equal to 1. So this is true for n is equal to n. So this is true for n is equal to 1. Now let it is true for it be true for n is equal to m where m is some natural number some natural number then what will happen a ar ar square up to ar to the power n minus 1 that is equal to a r to the power m minus 1 upon r minus 1 this is first now um, if it is true for n is equal to m plus 1 right uh, for this is considered like pm now pm plus 1 would be a plus ar plus ar square plus ar q up to ar to the power m minus 1 and next step must be a r to the power m. So using first I can write here r to the power m minus 1 upon r minus 1 plus a r to the power m using 1. In place of all this we have written this result. Now again we can write it like uh, a r to the power m minus a plus a r to the power m plus 1 if I multiply with this minus a r to the power m four divided by r minus 1 so this and this cancels out you know now it will be a r to the power m plus 1 minus a divided by r minus 1 so if I can take common a then this will be r to the power m plus 1 minus 1 and four divided by r minus 1 so this is true for clearly it is true for it is true for n is equal to m plus 1 hence by pmi it is true for all n belong to natural number so that is the proof i can write it like this okay next question is question number 13 and uh, solution of this will be can be written as put n is equal to 1 for n is equal to 1 n is here only in this step only so what will happen 1 plus 2 into 1 2 plus 1 3 divided by 1 1 square is 1 so that will be 4 and here it will be 1 plus 1 whole square so 4 is equal to 4 which is 2 which is so n is equal to 1 is 2 therefore pn is true if i can write it like this is equivalent to pm now uh, let it be true for we can write let it be true 
for some natural number natural number m n which is belong to n right now. so if it is true for some natural number then we can have 1 plus 3 by 1 1 plus 5 by 4 1 plus 7 by 9 and like this it will be 1 plus 2m plus 1 upon m square and that is equal to m plus 1 of whole square that is 1 because now now uh, we have to so that this is true for m plus 1 also this can be considered like pm equivalent to now pm plus 1 is equivalent to what 1 plus 3 by 1 1 plus 5 by 4 1 plus 7 by 9 like this and this step is 1 plus 2m plus 1 upon m square and next step will be 1 plus 2m plus uh, 3 2m plus 3 whole divided by m plus 1 whole square isn't it so this step will be here uh, because there is no specified written here in the number. Now uh, this can be written as so that is why this can be written as I can write here using first I can write for all these expressions till here from here to here I can write it m plus 1 whole square so that is m plus 1 whole square and next step is 1 plus 2m plus 3 divided by m plus 1 whole square. So I can write it. Now what will happen? If I multiply this, because this is the multiplier, so if I multiply this, this is m plus 1 whole square plus 2m plus 3. Because m plus 1 whole square and plus 1 whole square will cancel out. Now this is m square plus 2m plus 1 plus 2m plus 3. So that is m square plus 4m plus 4 and that can be written as m plus 2 whole square. So wherever there is an m, this is m plus 1 comes. It is m plus 1 whole square. Now if I put m is equal to m plus 1, that will be m plus 2 whole square. So clearly this is true for that can be further written as m plus 1 plus 1 whole square isn't it so clearly wherever there is a name this is m plus 1 so we can write it clearly it is true for true for n is equal to m plus 1 hence by pmi it is true for for all n belonging to n. Question number 14 is there and what is that question that 1 plus 1 by 1 into 1 plus 1 by 2 into 1 plus 1 by 3 into 1 plus 1 by n and that is equal to n plus 1. So we can prove it again by principle of mathematical induction. So we can uh, write it like put n is equal to 1 solution right so what will happen 1 plus 1 by 1 and that is 1 plus 1 2 so this is also 2 2 is equal to 2 so which is true which is true for n is equal to 1 now we can write it let it be true for for n is equal to m where m is some natural number some natural number right so what will happen in that case it will be 1 plus 1 by 1 1 plus 1 by 2 1 plus 1 by 3 and till 1 plus 1 by m is equal to m plus 1. This is equation first. And that can be written as equivalent to pm. Right now. So now uh, for 
pm plus 1 what will happen if i apply for pm plus 1 pm plus 1 or pm plus 1 this will be 1 plus 1 by 1 1 plus 1 by 2 1 plus 1 by 3 up to 1 plus 1 by m and what will be the next step 1 plus 1 by m plus 1 and till then we can write here what is that m plus 1 here m plus 1 so using this for all these expression from here to here the product of this all will be equal to m plus 1 plus 1 into m plus 1 into what will happen this will be m plus 1 for till there and into 1 plus 1 by m plus 1 so if i multiply m plus 1 into an m plus 1 and if i multiply with this that will be cancelled so what is that m plus 1 plus 1 so clearly uh, where is there is an m there is an m plus 1 so clearly it is true for true for n is equal to m plus 1 hence by pmi it is true for it is true for all n belonging to n this is the question now the next question i can write here that is question number 15 so what is that Question is 1 a square, 3 a square, 5 a square up to 2n minus 1 whole square is equal to n into 2n minus 1 that is 2n plus 1 upon 3. This is what we have to prove. n into n plus 1 divided by 3. So this can be written as like a Similar way we can solve it. Solution. Put n is equal to 1 and n is 1 here only. So 2 into 1 that is 2 minus 1, 1 square and that will be 1 into 2 into 1, 2 minus 1 is 1 and 2 plus 1 is 3 and divided by 3. So 3, 3 cancels, 1 is equal to 1. So which is true, right? Let it be true for n is equal to m plus m. Similarly, let it be true, let it be true for n is equal to m where m is some natural number, m is some natural number, natural number, right. So, what will happen? 1 a square plus 3 a square plus 5 a square up to 2m minus 1 whole square is equal to m into 2m minus 1 2m plus 1 whole divided by 3 and this is said to be question 1. This is equivalent to p isn't it? Now uh, we can write further 1 square, 3 square, 5 square up to 2m minus 1 square, pm plus 1 is equal to equivalent to what? pm plus 1, pm plus 1 is equivalent to 1 square, 3 square, 5 square up to 2m minus 1 whole square plus 2m plus 1 whole square because there will be two more so if i write 2 m plus 1 whole square now using the first i can write for this m into 2 m minus 1 2 m plus 1 whole divided by 3 plus 2 m plus 1 whole square isn't it so using one don't forget to write it using one okay First equation I will be in J and I can have it like this. So
so I can take 2m plus 1 common from these two. So what is left here? m into 2m minus 1 by 3 plus 2m plus 1 is left. Now further I can write it 2m plus 1 into that will be 2m square minus m plus 3 to the 6m plus 3 whole divided by 3. Isn't it? So that will come up 2m plus 1 into 2m square plus 5m plus 3 whole divided by 3. Now I need to write it like uh, in this form m into 2m minus 1 and 2m plus 1. So two more factors are required. So I will write here uh, again 3 to just 6. So that will be 3 plus 2. So 2m plus 1 into 2m square plus 2m plus 3m plus 3 whole divided by 3. So finally it will come like it will come like 2m plus 1 and I can take here 2m common. So 2m and what will be left? m plus 1 and m plus 1. So 2m plus 3 into m plus 1 and whole divided by 3. So this is what comes 2m m plus 1 and 2m plus 1 2m plus 3 divided by 3. So everywhere there is an m this is m plus 1. So which is true for true for n is equal to m plus 1 and hence by PMI we can write true. You can write it hence by principle of PMI we can do this n is equal to n. Okay. So that's all. I think so uh, you got it now and uh, you understand it well and uh, after the break we will discuss the rest of the questions till then i hope uh, you will enjoy this session and uh, hopefully you understood each and everything if you are not able to understood because it is a little bit fast so please uh, revise it again and again watch this video twice or thrice to understand it okay i hope you will do so Thank you. Thank you very much.